Hi, in this video today we will discuss the Marquee Tool. The Marquee Tool helps us create selection in Adobe Photoshop. So let's go ahead and learn about this tool. The Marquee Tool helps us create selections. The Marquee Tool has the hotkey M so you can press M in your keyboard and start using the Marquee Key. Also, this tool can be clicked by clicking at the Marquee Tool in the toolbar. Now, like I said, it helps us create selections. So what is a selection? A selection in Photoshop makes Photoshop so powerful. You can easily create selections by using the marquee key and selections are nothing but dedicated specific area in which you want to add in your effect or you want to change something. So now, once you select it, so you will have those marching ants around the selection. Selected area becomes editable. So now you can go ahead and you can edit that area. So the area outside the selection can no more be touched. There are four different selection options. There's this rectangular marquee tool which makes rectangular selections. There's this elliptical marquee tool which makes circular selections. There is a single row and a single column marquee tool which helps divide your screen either vertically or horizontally. And also there's an option in the option bar to add subtract selection. Marquee Tools has these amazing shortcuts which makes it super cool. We have inverse selection. So if for instance you selected that area where you actually mount the area outside is. For instance you are basically planning to just keep your face bright and rest of the area you want to convert it to dull or some black and white option. So what you can do is just do Control shift i and your entire selection get inverse or in the menu you could select the select option in the menu bar and click on inverse so for selection we have an amazing menu in the menu bar select which has all the options relating to the selection you could also deselect the area there could be a chance when you selected the wrong area so you could just do Control d or command d and deselect the area you could select the entire image that's just control A or we can also move the selection so if you simply want to move the selection you can just do control and move the selection but in case you want to copy that selection you can click control alt or command alt and you can copy that image to the selected area so let's dive in in Photoshop and learn this amazing and super powerful tool the marquee tool in Photoshop lets me create selections, maybe if I want a circular selection, maybe if I want a rectangular selection, so you can go ahead and use the marquee tool to create selections. Now, the marquee tool shortcut is keyboard M. If I press M, my marquee tool will be active on the keyboard and this is where my marquee tool is. So if I press M, I would be here. Now to move around the marquee tool, I'll do a shift M and I will move around my rectangular marquee and my elliptical marquee. So let's see how this works. So I want my elliptical marquee first and I'm going to do a shift M to have my elliptical marquee on and I wish to select her face with a circular frame and I have this frame size. Now I could also you know go ahead and have an, uh, an oval. I could again stretch right an oval but if you want to have a predefined uh, you know a, a very defined sphere so I would suggest you hold your shift key and drag and then you will have a per perfect square and you will not go in for an oval but again if you wanted to have an oval you could always drag down or left and create any circular shape that you wish to have now what I mean with the selection selection basically means that now this area is defined so whatever happens to this area will happen inside this boundary now let me do an all del and show you what happens. So now I have my foreground color which is hair. By doing an alt plus del, I have this colored. Now when I have this colored, this means that whatever I apply, it apply to my selection. Now let me do a control Z and a control D. Control D deselects my area and now I have no selection on the screen. Or you could also go to select and press deselect hair. Now. If in a normal case, I would have pressed Alt D, it would have covered my entire page. But I, I don't want that. I'm going to do a Control Z. And when I have my selections on and I do an Alt Del, it will only do inside my selection. So this is how I wanted to explain you what is a selection. 
This was just to tell you that in case you want selections and after you've had your selections, whatever you do will only affect the selected area. Now, what if I wanted to inverse this? To inverse this, maybe I don't want this curl face. I want the opposite area selected. So I will go to select and I can do inverse my selection or shift control plus I. And you can see now whatever I do, if I do all del, it will apply to the opposite selection and you can easily create a circular frame with this picture. I could go ahead to crop. I could go ahead to crop C and I could easily control D and I could easily go ahead and you know create a circular frame of her image. So my slice tool was selected. Let me go and select my crop tool. Control all Z and quickly I can go ahead and select this area and I can have her image as you know as a selection and I have her face as a circular image. Now so now what we're looking at so I'm going to do a control all Z and we are back to our image. So now what if I wanted to make a copy of this image now and I want to move her. So if I press on V, first I need to go back to her face. So I'm going to do Control D and I'm just going to take her face by pressing M and I have this tool selected. And now when I move it by the V, by pressing V, which is the move tool here, what will happen? It's going to cut from the background and it leaves that place, you know, you know, uh, with the background, uh, with the background color. But what if I want to make a copy of this? I'm going to keep the Alt key pressed and I can just copy this and use this image wherever I want. And what if I want the selection on a separate layer? I'm gonna do, do a control J. And now let me just hide this layer behind, beneath it and we can see that now we have this selection on a different layer. So whenever you select an image and you wanna copy it in a separate layer, you can go ahead and press control J and automatically a new layer will be created with this selection. Now coming back to my image, what if I had another selection and let me go ahead and create more selections. So maybe a circular one this time. Let me do a shift M and I am here and this is the selection I create and by pressing shift I can create more selections. So you know I have more selections here and now I want to add these two selections. So this is where I move on and I move on here and I just do this, I'm going to join these selections together. Again, to subtract a selection, we go here. And now I don't want, you know, maybe this area here. So I'm going to do this and it's going to remove my selection from there. Again, I also wanted her face. So I'm again going to go to add selection and I'm going to quickly add a selection here. And I have her face selected inside my selection. Again, to you use, you know, a particular area out of selection, I can just do this and the rest of the area would be gone. So these are my other ways of adding selection. Again, we have another feature in the option bar of the feather radius. If I, you know, this is about the kind of selection. Do I want a crib selection or I want to soften edges around my selection and go ahead and make it 50. Okay. And now when I do a control J and I use this, I, let me show you what happens is that I have a feathered, I have soft edges rather than a very crisp edges. So it won't be visible right now, but when you're actually placing it over an image, you want it to not be very crisp. You want some, you know, you don't want it crisp. You want some soft edges around that image. So you can use this feather radius. Again, going back to my image, I can also choose the, you know, what kind of style I want. Do I want a fixed ratio? Then I can tell, you know, my height would be, my selection would be just one by one. So now when I make my selection, it will, you know, be a proper square of you know one by one ratio so the ratio will be same i can also and if you see at the edges why i'm having these edges instead of my crisp edges because my feather radius is 50 and it's not giving me hard edges again i can go ahead to fix size and now when i fix the size it will actually give me just you know th these many pixels so this is what all about Marquee Tool. I hope you have enjoyed the Marquee Tool. And it's a very powerful tool when you're looking for some hard edge selections. Thank you and stay tuned.